want to know yeah. what is the reason yeah. for so many Afro-American people yeah. of this country yeah. not able to get work in their own country as well as in Harlem, in their own community. In their own community. I'm from the island of Trinidad and Tobago. I have walked the streets of Harlem and I have seen so many people that is on welfare and they belong to Harlem and they are not able to work. That's my concern. I am not able to work. That's my concern. Where are the politicians who are behind this wall? Where are the people who are behind this wall of immigration to stop certain people from coming in this country? Why are all these Spanish people, people working? They cannot speak my language. They cannot say nothing. Good, I'm talking to them in English. Good morning, is the boss here? No speak English. So then why are you working? How come you working? Who's giving you the authority to block a whole building off of us? And they are in there working and taking money where? To their families? So what about my family? What about the average Afro-American family who is living here? What's going on? We need to know what's going on because this is very, very serious. I would also like to know what it is that Clinton, I ain't knocking nobody, who is trying to reform Harlem and having so many Afro-American black people sitting on the sidewalks waiting for a handout. What's going on? Where are the politicians, like I said, who is drawing this line? So that we can stop certain people from being in this country. Where are the politicians who are blocking all these buildings and having so many Spanish people, people working and I can get a job and my Afro brother cannot get a job. Where are the politicians? Where are they? Bring it up <laughs> because they need to hear our voices. Our children are hungry. We can't pay no rent. We can't do nothing. The politicians have already been paid to, to buy this hall amount. This has been sold. So it's been sold. This been sold some years ago. And if you had all your political representatives from all the country right now, Charlie Rangel, Ives, Dickens, Keith Wright, Denny Farrell, uh, uh, Ross Burrow, uh, Manhattan Borough President, if you had them all here right now, what would you tell them is the most important issue to you? The issue that they are not addressing is that they need to address. Well, what they need to address right at this point in time, being that for my thing is the vendors out here. That's been my whole life right. working out here here on 125th Street, uh, being that you not going to give us no jobs, right. then let us work for ourselves. Because right. I'm from the Buy Black Campaign, uh, the African Nationalist Pioneer Movement, and that's all I know is working for self through right. the Garveyite Movement. So if you're not going to give us a job, let us work for ourselves. Let us buy and sell. You don't have to go to school to buy and sell, because that's what it all comes down to anyway. You could go to any college colleges, institutions, but when it all comes down, it comes down to business. And that's that's what it's all about, a business. Everything is about a business. The politicians, us vendors out here, and how they uh, oppress the vendors out here, oh, yeah. they ticket us to death. By the time they ticket us so much, then by that time, we don't have no money left yeah, over no to feed our families and to pay our rents and to do what we need to do to make a living and we only out here making a living and most of the vendors out here most of them are straight out we not on drugs alcohol we we only out here trying to make a living so let us stay out here you know that's what that's our main thing we want to stay out here and we know already that the stores are not making no monies now so when they go up to their meetings they're talking about the vendors because they see that we draw the people we make Harlem. We make this 125th Street what it is. Okay, we make this our, our cultural ground, our Mecca, right here. And we've been here. We fought this war since 1995.
The only thing that Bloomberg is concerned about is building these buildings, building them up high, getting his cut out of them, ticketing us again, like I said. Who is, who is and, working? and nobody is saying anything about Bloomberg. Bloomberg got the money, and we're not getting the jobs. so many vendors if you are putting up buildings? We're not getting any. We're not getting nothing. Nothing we have. Something is not adding up.